Obviously, Raheem Sterling has um, lots of valuable stuff in his house. We know when people are away, they're more vulnerable. But for more everyday members of the public like ourselves, what should we be doing to stay safe this Christmas? The easiest thing to remember is the, is the acronym WIDEN. Um, and believe it or not, over a third of burglaries um, take place through unlocked or open doors and windows. So WIDEN, the W of WIDEN stands for windows and just simply making sure they're locked. The I stands for internal lights or radio on a timer. So, you know, when you're out, that your lights or, or possibly a radio go on on a timer to make it look as though you're inside. The D stands for doors, simply making sure that they're locked. And the E stands for exterior lights. If you've got exterior lights on your property with a movement sensor, obviously burglars, the last thing they want is to be seen. So those are really good deterrents. And the last one, the N for um, widen, is for neighbours. Um, being in contact with your neighbours so you can look out for them and they can look out for you. It's something like joining Neighbourhood Watch as, as part of that. Those, that's the kind of easiest and best things you can do to, to reduce the chances of being burgled way to check off your list, especially if you're going away over the Christmas period, just to try and make sure your house looks occupied. And we've got those timers on our uh, little lights, lamps. Yeah. yeah, so you can sort of pretend that you're switching your lights off at bedtime and, and things like that. Um, around the Christmas period, though, you've got people putting out Christmas wreaths on their doors. You've got people being a bit forgetful, carrying in lots from their car, perhaps leaving their cars unlocked. You've got Christmas trees in windows, which is a, you know, advert saying, underneath this tree, I've got lots of expensive presents. I mean, do we see burglaries going up at this time? of year. They do. When the, when the clocks go back and the nights get longer, certainly burglaries increase. I think that's, that's happened every year for, for time immemorial. I mean, and as you say, there are specific things you can do around this time of year. I mean, keeping valuables out of sight. I mean, it might seem obvious, but if, you've, if, you know, if people in the family have just got a new iPad or some other kind of expensive good, keeping that out of sight of the windows, keeping your keys not near your front door um, or not visible or easily accessible through your front door so someone can put a wire through and potentially get your keys. Some of the other things which might be a bit less obvious are things like making sure after Christmas or, or, or even before not having lots of packaging outside your house of, of expensive, um, easily portable items. You know, if you've got, a, I don't know, a jewellery wrapping or, or expensive um, electronic items and the wrapping's all outside your house or next to your bin or something, that's a clear indication that those, those products are inside. So oh. those things are really sensible. And I think key, people sometimes don't think about things like ladders or bricks or tools that might be really accessible around your house or flat or whatever, that burglars might use those to, to gain access. So I think those are some of the, the things you could do. Obviously, nowadays, there's a whole range of video doorbells and outdoor um, cameras and those kind of things, which are all really helpful as, as deterrents. I mean, there are some there are some rules to video cameras. Um, basically, you need to make sure that you're just filming within your property and you're with your boundaries. And if you're not, you need to make sure that you're complying with data protection. And I mean, there's there's certainly lots of information on all of this and and the widen acronym on the Neighbourhood Watch app website, which is ourwatch.org.uk. Mm.